Senator Hassan Omar just um, facing the IABC team in order to get that all-important clearance. And we equally understand one Mike Mbuvisonko might be getting his clearance a little bit later on. Remember, his candidature has been plagued with whether he will be on the ballot or not. And just recently, Sonko got reprieve over that Mombasa case as judges sort of withdrew orders that restrained the Electoral Commission from allowing the former Nairobi governor to contest in Mombasa. We'll definitely keep our camera lenses trained in different areas across the country as we try and bring you up to speed with what is happening on the final day of this all-important clearance process. Now, get this, it was a rush against time um, for various aspirants who sought to get that clearance from the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission to vie for different political positions. Now, a section received the IABC certificate, others barred, while a handful rushing to the courts to seek legal redress. KTN's Moige William with more. It is a reprieve for Mike Mbuvi Sonko, former Nairobi governor who is eyeing the Mombasa gubernatorial seat, and Karungo Dangwa, who is seeking to be elected to the Senate after a three judge bench lifted interim orders, barring them from presenting their nomination papers to the electoral body. Justice David Majanja, Chacha Mwita, and Mugure Dande order that Sonko is free to present his papers to IEBC. And for the avoidance of doubt, this order should not be construed as directing the IEBC to accept or reject any nomination papers of the candidate subject to these petitions. Those, ladies and gentlemen, are our orders. In Moranga County, the UDA nominated aspirant Irongo Kangata failed to get his approval and asked the Independent Electoral Commission, IEBC, to give him more time to address the issue of his running mate, Winfred Njeri, who allegedly did not resign on time. Uh, looking at that issue, we still have a lot of time legally. Uh, today or even tomorrow, the, the time set by law, and therefore technically we are consulting, but we are telling our supporters not uh, not to stay calm, that we are still on course. In Kirinyaga County, the incumbent Anwa Igoro made a last-minute change of running mate to get the IEBC certificate, as our first choice had not resigned from public service as required by the law. Mimi ni wambia, mimi ni wamungu. Mimi ni wamungu. Amen. Najua kulikuwa kumepangiwa maneno mingi lakini wameona Mungu amekuja na ametusaidia na sasa sisi tuko katika ile ballot. Vitu zingine mtu aongee sana ni vizuri tuna kimya sababu what I knew is that IBC is the one that will say kama niko nayo ama sina walienda mpaka kwa hii CC na nikakuwa cleared for the Madenge who is eyeing to unseat Mutai Kahiga in Nyeri County it was joy after getting approval by the IBC Madenge had previously failed three times to get the clearance for lack of the requisite education documents. They went around with their vehicles saying that Dua is not in the ballot, but God has done his work. I'm saying hallelujah because I've seen the hand of God. Also in Kisumu County, celebrations of former Governor Jack Ranguma after being cleared by IABC were cut short after chaos erupted. Police blocked Ranguma's convoy from accessing the CBD with a ban in place recently issued by Governor Anyang Nyo. There was no balance here. Today was the day when the governor was cleared by the IEBC to force him. However, for others, it was a smooth process. This time round, we are going to build Embu County. We are going to build Embu County together. And the IEBC has qualified us without doubt that we are now ready to face the ballot on 9th of August 2022. Uh, we have a clear agenda and I think when we are going to launch your manifesto, we spell out what we are going to achieve in 100 days, which are not uh, mere promises. The issue was to the way to our MCE. Here we will do that about another million and twelve. The value is here to be for those cleared by IEBC, it is now a race against time as they crisscross their area of representation in hand for votes. Moige William, KTN News, Darakanidi County. Okay, so we'll definitely keep you updated on the final day of the clearance process. Those who failed to meet the cut 
will definitely be highlighted right here on KTN News. But away from that, just yesterday evening, the Azimio won Kenya presidential